What is the best sleeping position for lumbar scoliosis? Scoliosis causes an unnatural spinal curve that also twists to develop within the spine. There are three main spinal sections, the cervical spine, which is the neck, the thoracic spine, which is the middle and the upper back, and the lumbar spine, which is the lower back. A diagnosis of lumbar scoliosis means that there's an unnatural sideways bending curvature and rotation that's in this spinal curvature that's occurred in the lower back. And the rotation is into the concavity. A lumbar scoliosis can go to the left or to the right, but the most common is a left lumbar scoliosis. The best sleeping position for people with scoliosis happens to be the best sleeping position for people without scoliosis and just the best sleeping position for general health, and that is sleeping flat on your back. Back sleeping is ideal because the spine isn't kept straight in a neutral position, the spine is aligned, the pressure points are minimized, and a person's weight is evenly distributed throughout their spine. In addition, the healthy spinal curvatures can be maintained using cervical pillows and lumbar pillows to help maintain those normal natural sideways curvatures. Also, back sleeping helps keep the spine as neutral as possible, so therefore, it's the, by far the best. Now, if you can't sleep on your back, what's the very next best option? And the next best option will be something called side sleeping. Now, side sleeping requires a good supportive pillow that adequately, that adequately supports your head based upon your shoulder height or thickness. Therefore, the head kept in a neutral position is also is something that's very important. And then also as important will be a pillow for patients to use between their knees to prevent their hips from rotating forward or posterior or backwards. This pillow is something that needs to be thin, used between the knees to help maintain proper pelvic alignment. People with scoliosis can sleep well on their side, but there's no way to sleep that's better. Very often I get asked, well, if I have a left scoliosis, should I sleep on my right? And if I have a right scoliosis, should I sleep on my left? We've taken x-rays laying on both positions. There is no real significant pressure one way or the other to alter spinal position just by sleeping. So we say recommend to sleep whichever way you find more comfortable. The best way is sleeping in your back or sleeping on your left or right side, whatever you find more comfortable. Now, the worst position for scoliosis patients to sleep in would be called stomach sleeping or twisted, where they're kind of like halfway on their stomach and halfway on their side. These positions are the worst way to sleep because they put the most strain on your spine. This is true also for patients that don't have scoliosis. These positions don't support the natural health curvatures and normally require a lot of twisting with either in the neck or in the low back to maintain this position. And this causes abnormal spinal tension. Even if you're laying on your stomach face down and you just turn your neck, you get tension extends all the way down into the lumbar spine. So even if you have a lumbar scoliosis, we don't recommend sleeping on your stomach because this creates unnatural arches within the spine. So people with scoliosis sometimes can find it hard to sleep because every case is very, very different. And as they're laying down, they can experience un even pressure points on their back because when they're laying on their back, they have uneven pressure because the curvature will cause the back, their back to not be completely symmetrical. And sometimes they can find it difficult to sleep, especially in the adult stage when they start having back pain, muscle aches, nerve pain. This can also disrupt their ability to get a good night's sleep. Scoliosis can range in severity, and likely the more severe scoliosis becomes, the more likely it is to interrupt sleep and make it more difficult. Unnatural spinal curvatures can make it hard to find a comfortable position, so we always recommend getting a good night's sleep. It's very important for a patient with scoliosis, so whatever you find comfortable is laying on your back to the best, then do that, then laying on your side, then do that. The worst, like I mentioned, is twisted or laying face down because it puts the most amount of pressure on the spine. We know scoliosis is a progressive condition and we know sometimes it can worsen. However, treating the scoliosis and reducing the spine, the spine abnormality can help with sleep because it does decrease the amount of abnormal pressure that somebody could experience. So therefore, improving alignment can, can definitely help a patient with scoliosis not experience so many uneven forces while they're laying down. Also, patients that have scoliosis can also prone to more injury because as their spine is curved, it can be prone to more injury. So unhealthy, unhealthy sleeping positions may cause more discomfort to somebody with scoliosis than somebody without. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions about this topic or other scoliosis questions, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish new videos just like this.